Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Arthi Ganapathy, and I'm here today to talk to you about EnviroTech. But before we dive in, I'm going to have all of you stand up, please. Yes. Thank you. Now, after I count, not yet, wait for it, I'm going to ask all of you to stomp in place as hard as you can. Ready? On three, let's make some noise. And one, two, three. Thank you, you may now be seated. So you're probably wondering why I just had you do that. Well, if this room was tiled with EnviroTech's product, the EcoBoard, we could have just generated enough electricity for each of us to engage a light bulb for about 15 seconds. Look at how many people are in this room and how much electricity we could have generated from our simple motion. My amazing management team and our adult mentors began working on this idea about nine months ago. Though we each go to different schools, we were brought together because of our passion in business and firm belief that the environment is an essential asset being heavily compromised by today's technology. EnviroTech saw three worldwide problems. Rising energy cost, depletion of traditional energy sources, and heavy pollution due to human energy consumption and sought to aid both the environment and everyday people in regard to these issues. Our vision is to place our product in local institutions, providing them with a green energy source which is cost efficient to them. Our product capitalizes on the source of energy which will always exist so long as energy is needed, people trafficking the hallway. This technology even has the potential of self-sufficiency. So how does this process work? Well, the EcoBoard flooring tile is laden with piezoelectric receptors made from a man-made piezoelectric quartz isomer, gallium orthophosphate, and it captures the kinetic energy exerted on them through the walking and stores it as direct DC electricity. The EcoBoard then undertakes a process which converts it to the preferred form of electricity alternating current. This energy is now in its stable and ready to be used state. Correctly applied, a one centimeter cube of quartz with a two kilonewton force on it can produce 12,500 volts of electricity. So I know what you're thinking. If this technology really is this effective, then why don't I see it everywhere? Well, Piezoelectric research hit its apex at around 1980, uh, back when researchers didn't really have the supporting technology to harness this. Our company capitalizes on the union of piezoelectric and more modern technology. However, this isn't the only example of piezoelectric technology today. One thing that you might know, the electric cigarette lighter. When you press the button, a spring hammer is released, hitting a piezoelectric crystal, which eventually creates a, a sufficiently high current voltage to ignite the spark um, gas in the, in the lighter. So, uh, how are we going to fund this? I mean, we have this great idea, we've seen it, and we really want to fund it. Well, we contacted some external manufacturing companies, and we found out that we could distribute at the low cost of $16 per square foot. Up front, this is relatively expensive as compared to laying down linoleum for $3 or carpet for around $9 per square foot. However, the savings in the energy bill make this a long-term, highly cost-effective option. And how would we execute this? We divided that strategy into three phases. Phase one consists of our beta school and possibly mall launch, installing our product in one school and one mall, simultaneously conducting tests and collecting data on the efficiency of our product. After phase one, we would transition to phase two, using that knowledge gained, and offer our product locally um, and on a commercial scale. And using the proceeds accumulated from phase two, we would transition to phase three, which offers our product commercially on a national scale, informing and supplying possible consumers of our product. We hope that within the next few months, or possibly the next year, we can produce and hopefully install our first tile in Newport High School in King County, who is lined up to be the site of our beta school launch. We have done the numbers, and this would be profitable. We would gain a positive net profit within a few years of operation. Now, this is considering factors that are so large scale, but originally, this was all born from the idea of helping the environment and our customers. Imagine if all of these areas nationwide could go green, how much fossil fuel um, we could keep out of our system, our home, and our lungs. Imagine our future powered by human footsteps. And I hope you will all want to take a step in the right direction with my company, EnviroTech. Thank you. Thank you.